what's going on guys and welcome back and i'm not gonna waste too much time on my intro because i know most of you guys are clicking off the video anyways to go and watch the reaction okay um but anyways i'm gonna do a small little intro anywho right that's what we always do over here so um thank you guys so much for tuning in as always man you guys are the best as always hashtag terror squad okay but this series is very good i like it you guys have suggested a video that i am going to watch about world war ii um you guys have sent me the link and everything i'm gonna do that once i finish band of brothers just make sure you remind me if you guys are out there you can post the link again post it again i already have it saved but post it again just so i remember to do it right after i finish with this series we got six more episodes to go so, your boy, your boy out here, man, watching these guys, being so brave, this is real life, guys, not the show, but you know what I'm talking about. This is a depiction of what happened in real life as accurately as possible, having the account of the guys that were actually there. Um, as you guys have said, those guys are not going to be revealed until the end of the series, who who survived and stuff like that. Just, from, you know, just to not spoil us from when we watch the show. You guys said they embellish a lot of things. Um, you know what I'm saying? Like so, certain stuff that <laughs> that actually never happened. Guys that survived, they're like they got that one wrong, <laughs> which is weird. Um, but um, I'm, I'm curious to know how they got that wrong. You know what I'm saying? Um, but it was a mistake and they never changed it, which is weird because you would think that after all these years, they would have tried to edit that video and change that, but they didn't. <laughs> so, but it is what it is, man. Last episode, we was called the replacements and I totally get where they were coming from when they said the replacements. Um, uh, I'm so glad that dude survived man and he you know what i'm saying I, I for one second i thought he was gonna get um ran over by the tank i really did but he he survived man and they went back to get him and immediately they had to go and why are they always using my boy donnie Wahlberg to deliver bad news man what is going on around here you know what i'm saying it's like that guy was just hey anytime we got anytime we go we have to go back to war you gotta tell him <laughs> okay all right so Let's jump into it once again, man. We're going to do episode five today. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. It's been a great experience um, watching Band of Brothers, man. So shout out to all those who suggested this. Um, so let's jump into it, man. Episode five. Let's go. All right. So over there on the reaction, I had a lot to say. Um, so I'm not going to bore you guys with a long review, um, <clears throat> you know, for too long of a review, try to keep it as minimum as possible. But this was a good one. This was a very good episode, man, um, called Crossroads. The beginning of the episode was very, it was very real, <laughs> to say the least. It, it was, it was shot very well, um, to really convince you that this was happening. I love how they the sense of urgency and the sense of them being trapped also and them flanking around the enemy um to get them right so but it looks like you know as you know we know that soldiers do go through you know they they do go through this period where they're having this um post-traumatic um situation going on a ptsd right um and i think winters is slowly drifting into that territory where he's like regretting things that he's that he's have had to do um so and you know he's on the train and he's having flashes of stuff that happened i think because he came so close to death you know um as i said before i believe in the beginning of the episode they were talking about someone and i really do believe that they were talking about winters and it did end up being him that they were talking about so um so man they, they were hitting them with that artillery so glad and um they lost only one guy why would why are they always so lucky like the british lost like eight thousand men and they're losing like 
double digits. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, I don't know if it's because, is it because the U.S. is more tact tactical in certain sense and they never got any ambush? Did I, I don't know what's the totality of how much U.S. soldiers um uh, um were lost in World War II, but I know it's a it, it's a big number, but it seems like Easy Company didn't lose that many people. To be honest, you know what I'm saying. Every life is is worth. I'm just you know, just saying. Com in comparison to other battalions, it seems like they didn't lose that many people, um, but they did lose people, you know. Um, so man, th this this is just a great series. I like the fact that he got a promotion, but now he's back with him. Seems like he's gonna have to lead Easy Company again, because the other one is like gone to a wedding. The CO. He's gone to he's gone to a wedding, um, so he's kind of out of the picture right now. So it's, I don't know. It seems like he's going to go fight with him, and, and I'm all for it, man. I like seeing Winters out there leading him. He's the best man for the job at this point. That you know that I believe that you know he should have stayed. I love the fact that he got a promotion, but at the same time, I think he was the best man for the job to lead Easy Company. Um, he could have you know, gotten the promotion and still led them, but they wanted him to take on a more administrative tactical role where, you know, you sit in the room like a general and tell all the other dudes what to do, which is no less, you know, it's, it's even more stressing to be honest, because, you know, sometimes people will say, you've never, you're, you're not on the battlefield. Or whatever, so you don't know. Yes, people make adjustments on the battlefield, but you also got to understand that I do believe it takes a certain um it it, it um if a general um leads his so soldiers into slaughter and it was his plan and they get killed, he's getting blamed. Don't think he's gonna get off the hook and you know what I'm saying. Like he's getting blamed. I'm not saying he's gonna end up in in in, in um in jail or anything. You know, military prison or anything like that i'm just saying i mean only if it's on purpose he will but if you know what i'm saying if it was a mistake he's getting blamed you know what i'm saying he probably loses rank or something like that it's serious business you know what i'm saying when it comes on to when you're making you know tactical decisions for a group of soldiers to go somewhere and execute a mission so they do get blamed so, man, this was pretty awesome, man. So, thank you guys so much for tuning in. As I said, man, I'm not going to drag this out any longer. They're heading somewhere. Can't wait to watch the next episode. So, make sure you tune in for that whenever that comes out. I don't know. Maybe sometime. I'm going to try to get it done tomorrow. But if I don't, because I do have something else that I have to do. To, not a reaction I have to do tomorrow. So, maybe the next day after that, I might just put it out with the Peaky Blinders um, episodes. We'll see. Anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in as always. Thank you guys so much. Make sure you leave a comment in the comment section, man. And make sure you leave a like as always, man. If you're new to the channel, it's your first time watching me just to see what kind of reactor I'm in. I, I am, okay? Hit that subscribe button because you know I'm real over here, okay? If thereby reacts, I will see you guys for the next one. Peace.